But today, when streamline design has restricted cockpit size, when aircraft speeds of three and four hundred miles an hour are commonplace, it is very difficult. These blower tunnel tests at the Royal Aircraft Establishment Farnborough have produced interesting evidence. Even at the relatively slow speed of 150 miles an hour, a pilot finds it difficult to move his head back to the normal position once it has been turned. At higher speeds, it may even be impossible for him to get out of his cockpit unassisted. more and more jet aircraft capable of speeds of over 500 miles an hour come into service, the problem of saving the pilot in the event of mishap becomes increasingly difficult. But scientists have accepted the challenge. We propose that the pilot shall be ejected together with his seat, which is shot up by rails attached to the aircraft structure. A drogue is used to stabilize the seat after ejection to make it easier for the pilot to separate from it. The ejector ram is situated behind the seat and is actuated by a cordite charge. The main feature of the firing mechanism is that the firing pin has to be lifted against a spring and then released before the cartridge can be fired. The seat cannot be ejected accidentally. Tests have shown that an ejection velocity of 60 feet a second should enable a pilot to make a safe escape. To try out on the human body the effect of such acceleration, an 80-foot tower has been built at the Denham factory of the Martin Baker Aircraft Company. Many hundreds of satisfactory ejections have been carried out on test rigs of this type. Successful ejection tests with dummies have been repeatedly carried out. Two types of British ejection seats are proposed for service installation, but the operational procedure for each is essentially the same. Simple precautions should be taken. Feet and head should be on the rests provided. 
The elbows should be kept in while pulling down the blind, which completely covers the pilot's face, restraining and protecting his head. The final movement of the blind fires the charge. Quick release devices are fitted to the pilot's oxygen tube and his intercom. For final ground instruction in the Royal Air Force, it has been decided to adopt as standard this test rig complete with dummy cockpit. Well, Lynch, I'd much rather you than me. Well, all right, last time, you know. Oh, it's safe enough, really. What about blast on high speeds? Well, in Germany, people have actually withstood air blast on the face of over 500 miles an hour for very short periods. All the same, the aircraft speed should be as low as possible before shooting yourself out. But blast was not the only problem to be considered. With an aircraft out of control, G might have prevented the pilot pulling down the blind. But tests were reassuring. They proved that the blind can be pulled down under accelerations of at least 4G. In this meter, an ejection seat is fitted for the pilot and a further ejection seat has been fitted in the space behind him. Watch carefully, as in the special rear cockpit, Lynch gets ready to fire himself out. As the seat leaves the plane, the stabilizing drogue preventing the seat turning over in the air opens and then pulls out the seat parachute. Normally, only the drogue is used. The parachute has been fitted solely to prevent damage to the seat during these tests. Now, in his own time, Lynch can free himself from the seat. Watch just below the white canopy and you will see Lynch's own parachute open as he falls clear. We have shown that ejection is the best method, so far developed, of getting a pilot safely out of a fast aircraft. Work is going ahead to make it even easier for the pilot to leave in an emergency.
We expect soon to have aircraft flying where the hood is jettisoned by the initial movement of the ejection control. We hope to, eventually, to be able to separate the pilot from his seat automatically when he's left the aircraft and open his parachute for him when he's below certain height. This should greatly improve the chances of escape of an injured pilot. If you ever use a pilot ejection seat, remember these points. Reduce airspeed if possible. Jettison hood and make sure that it has gone. Feet and head on rest. Hold your breath, keep your mouth shut. Elbows in, pull down the blind and out you go. Since this film was completed, Lynch has been safely ejected from a meteor flying at a speed of 505 miles an hour.